today we're taking a look at this 1994 Subaru Sambar dump truck. So this is just a different version of the Sambar K truck. We have all kinds of different models, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive, dump, standard bed. This one is kind of the holy grail combination of everything. This is the four wheel drive model with the dump bed. Uh, so it's a hydraulic lift dump bed. It's a power push button to lift it up. You can see this one's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's got typical wear on the bed here, but the body around the outside is in good shape. And especially up here in the front, everything looks really good. This one has around 70,000 kilometers on it. It's a five-speed manual, part-time four-wheel drive. Aftermarket rims here with some nice winter tires on them. Some Bridgestone Blizzak tires. Interior is in great shape. Headliner looks good here. There are some patches on the seat here where it must have been a torn open underneath, but these are solid. 70,401 kilometers. Non AC model. It has heat, heat works great. And original radio there. kind of hear it over the traffic in the background but these Subarus run really smoothly um, it's a 660 cc four-cylinder whereas a lot of the other trucks are three cylinders so I notice the Subarus tend to run a little smoother a little bit more quietly and they seem to have a bit more power yeah brake light there's that exclamation point if I let that down then that shuts off This one also has the rear differential lock, which is a pretty rare option. Um, so if you engage four-wheel drive there, and see four-wheel drive light kicks on, then you can engage the diff lock. I believe the diff lock, if we move forward a little bit here, diff lock might only work in extra low. There it is. So this has technically six speeds. It's got an extra low granny gear. You can see all the way over past first. So you let out here, diff lock is on with four wheel drive. And now we're idling forward at an incredibly slow speed. That's clutch all the way out. So you get the idea there. But yeah, in order to use the diff lock, you have to be an extra low. I'll shut all that off. And then here we can take a look at the bed. How that moves. So you've got this button up here controls the bed. And that's all the way up. So this hydraulic arm here, it's vertical in the all the way up position, and then you've got this arm connecting it to the bed. Um, you can see you can actually lock this shut if you want, but this will automatically swing open so that your load comes out of the bed. Now that's a pretty steep angle to it, so um, it's, it's a solid dump. And underneath here you can see the entire frame. Engine is right under that panel there, so if you need to service anything, just pull these bolts out, pull that panel up and off of there. Really easy to work on these. And coil springs in the rear, you can see the suspension is in good shape. Um, drive line looks good, no rust under here. There's a fuel tank and the hydraulic unit for the dump. And you actually get this little chalk here uh, to stick in between the dump uh, bed and the frame there to prevent it from falling down on you. So, going the other way. Nice and soft, sets right down. And it still has the typical folding bedside, so all three panels will fold down here uh, for loading things on. So this one is a pretty rare setup with the diff lock, four wheel drive, and the dump bed. 
Um, this one is currently available, all ready to go. It's our 1994 model Subaru Sandbar Dump. You can check it out on the website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. We have this and a few other sandbars available. Thank you for watching.